Hello guys, this is the Swatter guy here and welcome back to another Worth It episode. Now I know I've done a lot of these uh, Worth It episodes, but you know what, I'm just enjoying it. And in case you have seven, uh, in case you're wondering why I put a, a 70 million on this character, because I decided to go for the chance cubes again, because the last time I had pretty good luck uh, out of these. So let's just go and check out the prices first of all, which is 600k for one, 637k, which is all right, 640. Uh, not that bad, not that bad, but uh, yeah, I decide to buy 24 of these. I'm gonna calculate 650 each, so that is like uh, 15 million or something like that. But you guys can see it on the screen. So let's go buy all of these stuffs, and yeah, it's gonna take me a while. So four, three, actually four. Okay, we got ourselves the stuffs, and now let's go and open 24. Never show it. Let's go check out the stuffs what we got. The first thing is going to be a Titan SY5. Well, yeah, we need to start with the low ones. Uh, next up is the Emote Intimidate, really old one. It's probably worth nothing still. Next up is the Sid Inquisitor Memorial Horror Projector, which is not that bad. And the final one for this tier is going to be the Magnificent Dancer Armor Set, which is quite old. And quite expensive, I think. Uh, but let's check out. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Now, let's go check out these prices. So we have the Magnificent Dancer, which there is none in the GTN. So let's see how much is this uh, set goes. So... 120 for the gloves, 200k for the wrist, 400k for the cap, 3 million for the boots, uh, 3.4 for the top, and 3.7 from the bottoms. Which is not that bad. Why is it not showing? Why is it not showing? I don't get it. Anyway, uh... Maybe my, my character is too good looking for this. Uh, so pretty much in total, that is worth like six, seven-ish million. Uh, something like that. Because I don't think like six, seven, maybe, maybe I can go for 10 million in total, which is not that bad. Uh, but let's see how, how much I calculated at the end. Uh, Inquisitor, 995, pretty much like a million. Intimidate, 15k, still not worth anything. And the Titan is 60k, and at the end, as you can see, mine is telling there. So yeah, that was uh, the first the first tier, which is uh, not that bad. Okay, let's go for another four. Let's see how much what 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 we got. First is the light yellow, deep pink dye. My chair is really really bad now. Trivial chest decoration, really old as well. Next one is going to be the glowing eyes red. Uh, after that. Uh, we have the Ogo Loyalist armor set, and I accidentally opened another one, and that is the Lana Benico, I think. I'll be right back, I need to source some stuffs. Okay, hopefully everything is settled and stuffs like that. Sorry I opened uh, one before the t tier ended, uh, but now let's get all the stuffs. Uh, and that was a little bit of discard issues. Now, uh, let's see what stuffs do we got. 
So we have five of this and yeah, it was a big mistake for me. Now, uh, we have the Glowing Eye Red for 62k. We have the Lana Benico armor set, which is 15 million credits. Jesus, that is a lot. Like, that is a lot of credit. Uh, let's see how much are like the individual set. 45, 200k, 240, 900, 3.4 for the tunic. Uh, I don't think it's worth 15 million, uh, to be perfectly honest. Uh, and I don't want to calculate 15 million because I, th I think that is a bit overpriced. So I'm going to calculate roughly 5 million. Like something like that, five million. That that should be like a, a decent decent price for that because I think fi fifty million is just too much for the whole set. We have the light yellow seventy k. We have the triple chest for four hundred and fifty k. Not that bad price, and five hundred and fifty k for the loyalist armor set. Not bad. At the moment, we pretty much got our money back. Which is uh, really, really good. Uh, now, we're gonna open three only. Uh, we have the Vosca Healing Crystal. We have the Warm Hand. And the final one, because I opened the one in the previous one, which is the XT Plasma Core Rifle. Uh, yeah, I don't think this is worth like too much, like maybe one chance cube price, but we'll see. The Plasma Core is 375k, not that bad. The Vosca is 95k, and the Warm Hands are 140k. Yeah, as I said, pretty much like uh, a chance cube price, which is not that good. Anyway, let's go for now, proper tiers and stuff like that. Let's go. First one is the light brown and g pale gray die model. Next one is the flame tre crest exobar. I don't think it's worth too much. I don't want pets, I want something else. We have the sign city of Zakul, which is not that bad. And we have the vanity chamber. Okay. High G9. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, okay, let's check out the prices. City of Zaku Blue. There is none on the GTN. Like, like, is there none at all? No, not at all. That is weird. I don't know why, but there is no on the GTN. Let's see the play. Come on. Okay. Uh, the City of Zakul is gonna be like 1 million, but this one is probably like, I don't know, 500k, maybe less. This one is 150k, and the Exobar is 70k. So, pretty much, we are really good at money right now. Uh, let's check out the rest. We have 8 more to go. I just want a rare item, like, I really don't, it's been a while since I got a rare item. Anyway, Circus Spade for the first one. Uh, Kuba Citizen, I don't know where to get that one. Uh, bronze item, I'm just gonna shake it, Blaster Mark, okay. Not that good. And let's see the final, and it's not a gold. Uh, is the Icos Firestarter, which is not that bad, I think. I think that is an old item as well. But let's see, we have two mounts, two decorations. First one, Blaster Mark. 820k for, for like, what is the decoration? Like, literally a mark? Like a Blaster Mark? Wow, okay. We have the Turkish Spade for 35k, which is from these packs, new ones. 1.4 for the Icos Firestarter. Okay, good. And we have the Kuba Citizen. Wow, that is like master spec, really old one. Uh, there is none of them on the GTN. Probably I could sell it for like one or two million, something like that. 
really good so far really really good and we have the last four and let's see what do we get out of these four stuff so the first one is going to be the blaster rifle cv 35 which is really old again next one is the jm 25 assault cannon even more older stuff we have the raw wow, rot firm hotball really old but a lot a lot of persons hating that and the last but not least is the carbonite chamber which is also an old item which you can get from cartel market and stuff like that which i don't think that uh, stuff will worth anything to be perfectly honest let's check it out carbonite 4.2 million back in the day this item was like a hundred K and now it's 4.2 Jesus 225k for the blaster rifle 70k for the salt cannon and the rod for yeah 70k pretty bad a lot of people hating that armor set so uh, yeah I didn't thought it's gonna worth too much so yeah that was it for uh, this one, like, look at the prices for this. Hot form away is much 300 pr uh, price, but not that good. Anyway, uh, that was it, and now let's go to total. Well, after probably I edited all of this stuff because my microphone wasn't on, but now it's on. So the total calculation has been done, and I received. 30 million credits and 942k so pretty much i doubled my money with this op uh, chance cube opening which i'm really really grateful and maybe some of the prices what i basically i decided are not right but pretty much it is an insane profit finally after really bad openings so i really needed this so yeah I definitely, definitely enjoyed this. I hope you did as well. If you did, smash the thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.